So in this video, we're just going to look at a question that someone asked about transmission problems. What are the typical causes of transmission issues? So we're primarily going to be focusing on automatic gearboxes. There's quite a few different types out there, but some of this also applies to the manual transmission as well. So we're just going to look at what the typical issues are that can prevent gears from engaging smoothly, effectively, or is otherwise affecting the transitions in different gear ratios within your car. So firstly, the modern automatic gearbox is a computerized marvel. There is so much going on there. Some modern gearboxes have a variety of clutch systems. Some have continuously variable transmission systems, but there's a lot of gears. There's a lot of stuff going on within the gearbox itself. So the computer and the components that actually control that are quite critical to the smooth running of the gearbox itself. So you've got the transmission control module that determines really the shift points and just make sure that everything meshes properly within the automatic transmission. So if there's an electronic issue within this unit, that can obviously cause problems with the gear changes. So sometimes if you've had the car battery disconnected, the, the settings that have been learned by the transmission control module will need to be relearned. So that can take a little bit of time. So we're just assuming that you've got transmission problems and you've not just disconnected the battery. So the transmission control module also within in the gearbox itself, you've got a system for lubricating the transmission. So within this lubrication of the transmission, if the fluid is defective, if the fluid level is too low, or the fluid has become degraded over time, that can affect the transmission's ability to smoothly shift. The extra wear and tear is obviously going to affect the metal components and the way that they mesh together. So that is going to cause problems, and that is a problem that's going to get worse. So don't overlook the necessity of just checking the fluid levels in the transmission and topping it up or replacing it. But also the transmission fluid filter itself can start to become clogged, and that can affect the flow of transmission fluid within the automatic transmission. There's also a solenoid within the transmission. So if that solenoid is starting to play up, that is going to affect the car's ability to engage a gear and change gear. So that tends to manifest itself as erratic shifting or irregular shifting, or maybe a delay when certain gears are engaged. So if the gearbox has a clutch, it's going to be probably a stick shift or some modern gearboxes that are automatic have a dual clutch system to just speed up the gear changes. If those clutches have become worn, that's going to affect the car ability to engage a gear smoothly. So in a manual or stick shift transmission, you'll tend to notice the first gear and the second gear are the first ones that start to grumble. So it might start to grate a little bit when you change into those gears. So this crunching or unsmooth changes is often down to a bad clutch or the clutch is starting to go. But you also notice when that happens, the revs start to rise and the car's speed takes a lot longer to pick up. So the car's engine speed is not directly related to the road speed until the transmission catches up. So that can indicate a slipping clutch system within the transmission itself. Now, in a modern car, you've often got a drive-by-wire setup as well. So as you accelerate, the car receives a signal to accelerate, and it interprets the amount of load, the amount of acceleration, how hard you're pushing the pedal with an appropriate gear selection, and it will try and anticipate the next gear and get that in. If it's not getting a correct signal about the accelerator and what you're doing, that can cause it to make bad judgment calls. So sometimes that can be quite a cheap fix. It's just a small electrical component that needs replacing. In other cars, that can be quite a complex problem because it's part of a series of electronic modules and the cost of that can just start to run on. So your slipping transmission or problems changing gear can be down to any number of things. First thing I would always check is just the fluids. Make sure they're in good condition and they're at the correct levels because if it's too much fluid or too little fluid, that can cause all sorts of problems with shifting in the modern transmission system. So thanks for watching. Please boot the like button because that really does help us to get out there. And I've lined this video up for you that should help you to keep your car in tip top condition so you can really enjoy the maximum performance from it. If you haven't subscribed, please do so because we'd love you to stay tuned. Thanks for watching.